Ben and I both started working in hospitality from a very young age. Um, we've both been working collectively for about 40 years in hospitality. We met working together in about 2008 and we worked together in a head office capacity for a large hotel group and realised that we had really aligned passions um, within the hospitality space and wanted to do something a little bit different. So in 2011, we threw caution to the wind and, and started our own business together. And that's when Applejack started with the vision of creating a hospitality group where we could create epic venues over the next five years or so. So starting out financially, we didn't have a lot of money behind us at the time. And every cent that I guess Hamish and I had saved prior to that moment had gone into starting our first business. The first business was a great success from that we use those profits to organically grow the company. So taking that risk was something we didn't take lightly. And it was, I remember going home and speaking to my mum and saying, hey, mum, I've, I've left the job and Hamish left his job and this is what we're going to do. And mum was very concerned, as most mothers would be. After the success of our first business, pretty much 12 months after, we found another site that we were really in love with, and that was um, in Kirribilli. It's an area that we knew well. Ben was living there at the time and we felt that we could take what we'd learned from the first one and, and apply those philosophies directly to the second business, which is the botanist Kirribilli. We went on from that to launch it pretty much 12 months after that. Our third business, which is SoCal, which is just up the road from Kirribilli in Neutral Bay. That was also a business where we put a lot of time into the backstory. Ben and I went off on a surfing trip through Southern California, fell in love with the, um, the Mexican direction of the food there, and <clears throat> just wanted to create a business that just evoked the same feelings that we got when spending time surfing down the California coast. Line. We've got seven venues in the group now, ranging from cafes to bars to restaurants to microbrewery even. The microbrewery in The Rocks there, we did that a joint venture with the guys from Endeavour Brewing Co. So we came up with this very cool idea of a micro pub in The Rocks, but we tried to make it a little bit different and we do premium smoked meats there and we brew on site as well. Each of our brands across the portfolio is unique. For example, the one where we're sitting in right now, Pop and Tone, it's in the CBD. We spent the time to create a concept that we thought would resonate with not only the corporate market, but also the weekend people who are looking for a special occasion, people who are wanting to meet up just for an after work drink. So we found the site, came with a beautiful concept, which involved the story of our two grandfathers, my grandfather, Bopper, and Ben's grandfather, Tony. They're both Sydney-based people, both worked in and around the area. So we created a concept for these two legends in our lives that never met, that resonated well with the area and the story from top to bottom works in throughout that. It's a very competitive market in hospitality. What we do to try to break through a lot of that noise out there in the competition is make sure that we employ amazing people. And not only do we employ those amazing people, we make sure the story of why Applejack is here today and the story about why the venue is here today as well is fluid all the way down to the people on the floor.